Welcome to Embedda Mastrex and today we will be learning how we can program PIC microcontrollers to do some Ethernet programming in it uh, so that you can add Ethernet functionalities in your project or application. So to do this you don't need to build your application from scratch because microchip already provides TCP IP library and you can use that to build your application. Uh, right now I have with me this PIC32 Ethernet starter kit but if you don't have this kit you can still follow the tutorial because the steps are same for like Explorer 16 board or PIC18 board or whatever. Uh, so this in this tutorial, I'll tell you how you can build and run the TCP IP demo app provided by Microchip and control the onboard LEDs uh, from a website. So let's get started. So to do Ethernet programming, you need two softwares. First is the MPLAB X IDE, this one, and you can download this software from Microchip website. This you can download this latest version 3.10. And apart from this software, you need Microchip libraries for application. You can download this from their website also but do not download the latest version because the latest version does not contain the TCP IP demo app so you have to download this 2013 615 version and this is for Windows Mac and Linux so after downloading and installing the software this software will get installed in your C drive here microchip solutions you can open it and you will find this TCP IP folder here open this folder and you will find this demo application here so these are the files required for our uh, required to run and build the TCP IP demo application. Now open MPLAB X, go to the file, open projects, and browse to the project folder microchip solutions TCP IP and MPLAB.x. Now, as I'm working on the PIC32 Ethernet starter gate, so I'll select this. Pick 32 Ethernet starter gate, but if you are working on Explorer 16 with ENC28 J60, you can select this one or any other. So I'll select Pick 32 Ethernet starter kit. One thing to notice is go to the project properties and change your compiler. Uh, you have to select C32 as your compiler. I've already selected it now. Let us just build this project. Okay, the build successful. Now I'll program the device. Okay, so let me just connect my device to my laptop and connect it to a lane wire. Now program the device. So the device has been programmed. Now what you need to do is you go to the microchip solutions folder. You will find a microchip folder. Open it and you will find a TCP IP stack folder. Click on it. You will find a utility, utilities folder. It contains uh, software utilities like this one TCP IP discoverer. Click on this and discover device. This will give you an IP address of the device. Just click on this uh, IP address and the default web page for the microchip will get open. So this is the default microchip TCP IP web page. As you can see the LED on the board is blinking and in the same way here this LED is blinking. If I click on the second LED, the second LED on the board will get on and off. In the same way the third LED will on and off. So this is the TCP IP stack demo application and uh, this was just for the first app, first tutorial. In the second tutorial, I will tell you how you can design your own web page and uh, put some buttons on it so that you can control th these LEDs through your buttons. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe 
like and comment if you have any doubts on reviews about this video thank you